Hi everybody. So today I wanted to show off a small update for the Life Engine, um, as well as talk a little bit more casually about the state of the project and where I see things going in the future. So first off the update, uh, there has been a bit of a UI overhaul. The main panels have been cleaned up a bit, and there's this new tab called World Controls where I've moved the grid size options there. And there's a couple buttons that were added actually by people in the open source community, so that's really awesome. Uh, this first one on the bottom left of the panel is to reset with random organisms, which allows you to reset the environment with randomly generated organisms. Uh, so if we try that here, we can see that there are just a bunch of uh, really weird looking things. Most of them die, most of them are totally useless, but some of them survive, and it adds a little bit of uh, diversity at the beginning uh, that I think is pretty cool. Uh, there's also this new button that will generate random walls uh, and it uses this algorithm known as Perlin Noise to generate these kind of naturalistic looking walls which I think just looks awesome. So both of these buttons were added by uh, different people um, and it's just super cool. I'm really really happy to have uh, people in the open source community care enough to add new things. So that's awesome. Also, there is a new parameter in the, no longer the simulation control tab, the evolution control tab. It's this extra mover reproduction cost. So it is an additional food cost required for movers specifically to reproduce. A bunch of people have recommended different ways of sort of balancing this natural competition between movers and static producers. And I think this is a very simple way of doing that. It's uh, pretty easy to tune that value up and down as you want to kind of change the balance of power uh, between the two. And uh, I think it works quite well. I'm also opening up these walls here so that there's a little bit of some exchange between these different areas. You can also now save and download your evolution controls uh, as well as share them with other people and load them up. I've noticed uh, that on the Discord some people are doing some interesting experiments and I think that this will make it a little bit easier to share your work with other people. Alright, I'm going to help out these movers a little bit by having an auto drop rate for food here. This will just kind of uh, make it a little easier for them to survive. And um, yeah, so as we watch these organisms evolve, I just kind of wanted to take the opportunity to talk a little bit about uh, managing this open source project. It's kind of a new experience for me. And I am a little bit overwhelmed at the amount of engagement that I'm getting. Uh, it's it's really awesome. I, I'm just floored that people find this dinky little project interesting enough to uh, have ideas and to come up with new things and to in some cases write code uh, which is just I mean people are putting in work into this project and it's really really cool to see so I'm super appreciative of everyone on the discord on everyone on github uh, and uh, even people on YouTube have made videos about the life engine so that's that's just awesome one particularly cool thing I'm seeing uh, developing on Discord is someone is, uh, they've implemented uh, kind of rudimentary neural networks in these organisms so that they have uh, slightly more intelligent movement. And they've actually hosted this version of the Life Engine on GitHub pages, so you can check it out yourself. I'll, I'll post a link uh, in the description. It's super, super cool. And I'm thinking about adding it to the official version of the Life Engine, but you know, as all uh, suggestions and ideas and, and uh, written code is, it takes a little while to review, to think about, to integrate into you know, my vision for the Life Engine, what I want it to be. Uh, in many ways, you know, I want the Life Engine to be simple. I want it to be simple enough that you can kind of intuitively understand what you're looking at uh, for the most part. And it's already kind of complicated. You know, it takes a whole video to explain how the thing works. And I, I wish it was uh, more intuitive than that. So I'm picky about what I will ultimately add to the official version of the Life Engine, but I don't want this to discourage people from implementing the changes that they want to see. You know, if you have an idea, you can uh, take a look at the code yourself and try to implement it. And uh, if you want, you can host it on GitHub pages. It's pretty easy to do that and you can always publicize it on, on the Discord. Uh, and, you know, if I like it, I may ultimately add it. But 
I'm picky, so, you know, I probably won't add most of the uh, suggestions and uh, code that people have written, but I really want people to keep doing that because I think it's really cool. But if you really want to have something added to the official version of the Life Engine, uh, you know, the most likely things I'm willing to accept are bug fixes, uh, UI improvements, uh, helper functions like these random walls and random organisms. Uh, all these things are much more likely to be added. Things like a new cell or a new type of brain or uh, big changes like that, uh, typically I'm much more hesitant to add. Not to say I won't ever add them, but I'm, I'm much more hesitant to do so. So for the moment, I'm closing the open pull requests uh, on the GitHub that have been labeled as mods and just linking them in the Discord channel for mods. So you can check them out there if you'd like. I also wanted to clarify that I'm not done with the Life Engine, right? I have a bunch of ideas of things that I want to add, uh, videos that I can make, uh, and you know some more lofty changes to the Life Engine that I think would introduce uh, some more complexity. But at the same time, I am managing a bunch of different things at once. I have a lot of different projects, I have a lot of different ideas for completely new projects, and I have a full-time job on top of this, right? I don't really make any money from this channel, so this is really just a passion project, and I'm, I'm going to work on ultimately what I want to work on, what I think is interesting. So just be aware of that. In conclusion, thank you for all the engagement, all the support, uh, everyone on Discord, on YouTube, on GitHub. It has all been great. It has all been very unexpected, uh, and I'm really, really happy to have... Uh, a small audience and a small community um, and I, I hope that you will be you know here for the ride for uh, other different projects that I might work on um, and uh, I'm very excited to to keep working with y'all so thanks I will uh, see you in a future video <laughs>